the edge of the Vargon Empire, in the Aurelia Sector, a mysterious message woke you, from a deep slumber. Tutorials will have a video like the one on To move the camera, you can place the mouse at your screen edge. Alternatively, you can use the WASD keys to move the camera. Use the mouse scroll wheel to zoom your camera in and out. Hover over the Taurus system, and use the mouse scroll wheel, to zoom your camera closer. To see the details screen, press and release the left mouse button on Planet Chilon. To deselect a planet, system, or exit a screen, remember you can right click to deselect. OR is needed to make units. The OR you have available is shown on the top of the screen as a blue diamond. Resources are mined and removed from planets. The amount a planet contributes is designated with A plus sign. The OR earned at the end of your turn is the plus one at the top of the screen. Left click your avatar to end your turn. Left click to select Planet Chilon and open the Planet Manager. Press the Build Tier 1 button to open the Unit Training Panel. Finally, left click on the Initiate to train it.
To place a unit in battle, press and hold, with the left mouse button, then drag the initiate into the second column on the battle grid. Units can move around the battlefield. With the right mouse button, hold and drag, then select a highlighted square to move to. When all your units have been moved, or have attacked, your turn is over. Health can be damaged by attacks. When health reaches zero, the unit is destroyed. Each unit has a core attack damage. It is shown on the bottom of the card, and when choosing a target. With the left mouse button, hold and drag, from the initiate to the drone to attack it. The target overlay uses red, to show the range of this attack. Reputation is earned, when you choose how to react to a character, or situation. To see the reputation you currently have, press the personality matrix button, now. A reputation has its uses. It can open new dialogue options with characters, and if you earn enough, it can unlock personality traits. Press the right mouse button, to close this screen. Discovered units, are earned by mission rewards. Each mission, you spend energy, to research units in that sector. Researched units may be upgraded permanently. Experience earned in missions, and battle, let you train new skills. Open the research screen, now. The initiate will always be available to you. Left click on the initiate to open its upgrade screen. Left click to unlock explosive rounds. 
This will spend 5 experience points, and unlock a special alt attack. Left click on assisted targeting system. This will increase direct initiate range, by 1. Press and release the right mouse button, to exit the menus. Exiting full screen menus like these, can always be done with the right mouse button. When you are back at the galaxy screen, zoom in, on Auriga. You will need to harvest resources on Auriga Prime. And your turn now, to do so. Left click on Auriga Prime, then press the Build Tier 1 button, to open the Unit Training Panel. Left click the Initiate Build button, 4 times, to train 4 Initiates. Then left click each Train Initiate, to select all 4. When you have selected all 4, click the Build Fleet button. Fleets have enough fuel, to make 3 jumps each turn. With the fleet selected, right click on the warp gate. Warp gates, are controlled like planets. Send your fleet through the gate, by right clicking on the warp gate again. The infested planet, Tau, is in this system. Send your fleet to planet Tau, to attack it. You place units first, because you are attacking. Up to 4 troops, can enter the 3 columns on their side. The range upgrade for initiates, allows for a straight shot up to 3 spaces, instead of 2. Attack the enemy from a distance. Explosive rounds will shred the armor of a drone. To use this new alt attack, press and release the right mouse button, then select the explosive skill from the wheel.
Select Planet Al GD1 and select two spy units. Then click the Build Fleet button to place them in a fleet ship. Select the remaining spy units, then click the Build Fleet button again to place them in a second fleet ship. Multiple fleet ships at the same location will be added to a fleet stack. Select one of the fleet ships now. Each fleet ship has enough fuel for three movements per turn. Each ship movement costs one fuel. Ships regain fuel when you end your turn. Begin exploring this sector by sending your fleets to planets and warp gates.